He may be the most vicious terrorist leader in recent years, possibly more brutal than bin Laden. Tonight, a former inmate at a U.S.-run prison camp in Iraq says ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the man behind scores of ISIS beheadings, was once a trusted inmate by his American captors, allowed to roam freely around the camp. The Americans seem to see Abu, uh, Abu Bakr as, as somebody who could keep the prison quiet. There are 24 camps within the, the, the Sunni side of Camp Bukha. He was allowed open access to all of them. Guardian reporter Martin Chulov interviewed a senior ISIS commander he calls Abu Ahmed, not his real name. Abu Ahmed says he spent time at Camp Bukha with Baghdadi starting in 2004. He told Chulov Baghdadi was a fixer at the camp who could settle disputes between competing factions. Quote, he was respected very much by the U.S. Army. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, he said, was seen by other detainees as clever, scheming, quote, using a policy of conquer and divide to get what he wanted. A U.S. intelligence official tells us Baghdadi built street cred inside Bukha. Abu Ahmed said Baghdadi and other jihadists at this American prison were not always segregated, essentially allowed to meet freely, to plot, and they had an ingenious way of communicating. Him and others were able to write their contact details on the white elastic of their boxer shorts, the prison-issued boxer shorts, um, and that was a way that they networked. And when they got out of prison, they had phone numbers, they had details of fathers, villages, uncles, whatever. Abu Ahmed depicted Camp Bukha as the incubator of ISIS, saying it was a management school for ISIS leaders. Quote, if there was no American prison in Iraq, there would be no Islamic State now. Most of the senior leadership, and probably a good portion of the mid-level management and foot soldiers, came from Bukha. Um, because, you know, tens of thousands of people were held in Bukha over the years and so just when they got out they had little to do and they had these established networks and it, it's clear that they had done their homework in the prison. And as he left, according to a former camp commander, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi had a chilling parting shot. He looked over to us and as he, as he left he said, see you guys in New York. Responding to the accounts that Camp Bukha was a breeding ground for ISIS, where jihadists could strategize, a Pentagon official told CNN, quote, these type of detentions are common practice during armed conflict. Analyst Patrick Skinner said at Camp Bukha, U.S. commanders tried to separate the most violent and hardcore inmates, but he said Bukha was packed with detainees. The army was short-staffed, and no one at the time thought Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi would go on to do what he's doing now. A U.S. intelligence official tells us Camp Bukha was not a turning point for Baghdadi.